Okay, so today we're canning peanuts. What I did last night, we brought them home. These are all green, not raw. There's a difference. Green you boil, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to boil, make boiled peanuts. So this is a green peanut. Green peanuts and raw peanuts are different because your green peanuts are the ones you're going to boil, which, are, which is what we're doing today. See the difference in how they look? Your raw peanuts may have a very similar look to them, but those are the ones that most people roast and salt. These, we're going to boil these in a brine, and what we're actually going to do is we're going to can them. Now what happened is when, I brought them, when we brought them home yesterday, we took them and did one good rinse. This is about nine pounds of peanuts. You soak them once for about an hour. Then you let it drain off, and you'll, you won't believe the dirt that comes off these things. Please rinse these or that dirt goes in your mouth. Second rinsing, I did the same thing. Filled it up, made sure that they were completely submerged. Now what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to go through and I'm going to put them in my pot and I'm going to boil them in fresh water again for about an hour before we can today. When we first brought these home, that first rinsing, this water was black. Okay, now what I've done is I've put part of the peanuts in here. This is just an old pasta pot. I used this one for water bath canning. Here's the other part of them back here in this other pot. I'm going to boil those for about an hour, but we're going to do the blue ones for us. I just dry fit it and then what, what you're going to do is you're going to put two to three inches of water in the bottom of it, start getting it hot because you're going to be, after we boil these for an hour, we're going to dry pack it in here and then we're going to be putting our separate brine in on top of this and then we're going to pressure can them. And now what we do is we only add a quarter of a cup of the canning salt to four cups of water. I highly advise tasting it first to get the end result that you want. Most people are going to want to go a fourth of a cup of salt to one cup of water. We just don't like it that salty. Okay, now these have been boiling for about an hour. So what you're going to do with these now is you're going to take this slotted, a slotted spoon, any slotted spoon, and you're going to drain them out like this. And then you're going to start filling your jars. After you fill your jars, then we're going to take and put the salt water over them. Okay, now we've got these seven jars filled up, and we've still got another whole batch. So we'll be making two batches of these with those peanuts. So just remember, it goes further than what you think. My brine's already made, so I'm going to take my brine and pour it down over my peanuts. We've already got the peanuts shifted in there. We're going to pour it up until about an inch of space. See how that is right there? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take these and put them on there and put them in your pressure canner and get it started. So what we're going to do is we've already put our brine in here. And we're going to put them in our pressure canner. To process these at 50 minutes, because these are quart sized jars, at 10 pounds pressure. No, you do not water bath can these. Pressure can, it's not going to be over the lids because all the pressure builds up inside there. Water bath canning is where it needs to be over the lids by about 2 inches. Now, we're going to put this on here. I slide to shut it is down right now because it's cold when it gets hot this is when the pressure starts building up inside there this is going to pop up once that pressure starts building up you're also we're doing 10 pounds of pressure now these are what comes with this presto canner this is five this is 10 and this is 15 depending on what you are canning is how many of these rings you use we are doing 10 pounds of pressure, so I'm going to take this one, put it over there, and that's going to be my 10 pounds of pressure that sits on here. And what you're looking for is a steady rocking, and once it gets to that, it'll have a very specific sound. This will be popped up. That's what you do before you ever start timing your 50 minutes. Otherwise, it's a waste. Okay, so this is now popped up. That tells me that the pressure's building in there, something fierce. Now what we're looking for is a steady rocking motion. Once this gets to a steady rocking motion, it's when we're going to set our time for 50 minutes. It takes it a minute to get there, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. This gentle rocking motion is what you're after, but be careful. This is extremely hot. Okay, so our timer just went off. We're going to hit stop. I just turned the stove off. As tempting as it is, do not remove this. Do not. Please, for your own safety, do not try and remove this lid. Let this come down cool on its own. 
and you won't have all the liquid lost in your jars. It'll take it a while to get cool enough, but as soon as this stops doing its thing and this pops down, then you take the lid off and you can remove your jars out. You can sit them on the counter to cool. Okay, so now that that's popped down, we're going to take this. That means all the pressure has released itself. We're going to remove that. And then we're going to do this. Now, when you remove it, please step away and pull it away from you so that you don't get a facial. Can you see the steam coming out of there? That bad boy is hot. These jars are still... Oh, God, that smells so good. These jars... The water is still boiling. Let me show you this. This is how hot it gets in here. Wow. You see that? Wow. That water is still boiling and I, I have actually let it sit and cool in there. I have let that cool in that pressure canner and it's still boiling like that. Please be careful. When you take it off, make sure that you put it on a, a cloth of some sort because you don't want that heat and if any, any of that stuff to damage your counter, okay? This is the second set of those jars that we're going to have go in once I get this back up to temp again. This, actually the nine pounds of green peanuts that we got for 99 cents a pound grown locally has done 12 of these quart jars plus it actually did a little pint jar too, but we're going to eat those. So we've got those on the stove boiling. So I'm, I'm going to pressure can these after we take these out of there. But look, I want to show you one of the blue jars how pretty that is. Look at that. Listen for the beautiful pings. Ping. Turn it off now. Ping! All of these look like they're down. <laughs>